violent attacks on demonstrators rattling the Israeli public. These scenes outside the Tel Aviv home of Public Security Minister Amir Ohana. Suspected far-right members of the La Familia Beitar Jerusalem Soccer Club reportedly behind the incident. The second claim against them in a week. As night after night protesters take to the streets, anger is growing after a leaked recording of Ohana pressuring the police brass to step up enforcement against those rallying against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Hundreds of protesters moving from outside Ohana's home to the Ayalon Highway, forcing police to redirect traffic as demonstrators blocked off the thoroughfare. Police say they arrested four people for disturbing the peace and assault at the rally. Meantime in Jerusalem, another night, another protest outside the Prime Minister's official residence, calling on Netanyahu to stand down. The police use of water cannons against protesters discussed in a Knesset committee overnight after scenes like these, in which officers are being accused of indiscriminate use of them. The panel's chairwoman, MK Mickey Haimovich, blasting police for not sending a representative involved in their use to the meeting, saying images like these are not easy to accept and injustices done in protests must be corrected. Meantime, Tel Aviv residents waking to a jarring scene today, a pop-up exhibit in Rabin Square showing the Prime Minister enjoying a lavish meal for one in a mock reenactment of The Last Supper. The artist saying the imagery is set to show a contrast as unemployment skyrockets and tens of thousands of families struggle over the government's handling of COVID-19.